Well, I'm here in Israel, specifically on Mount Carmel, the place where the prophet Elijah called down fire from heaven, the place where God ended a three and a half year drought by sending a cloud the size of a man's hand. And the prophet said and prophesied, I hear the sound of an abundance of rain. It's important to remember that Elijah, while you're fasting, Elijah fasted for 40 days. He's one of three in the Old Testament that fasted for 40 days. Moses, Elijah, and then we know that Jesus in the New Testament fasted 40 days. And so I want you to know that what I'm praying for today is you're fasting just like Elijah did. We sometimes think they, those Bible characters were superhuman. But James reminds us about the prophet Elijah. He was a man of like passions. So when he fasted for 40 days, I assure you that he was hungry, just like you get hungry when you fast. But there is something about the sacrifice of fasting that can draw the fire of God on your life. Elijah was a fire starter spiritually. He started the fire of God wherever he went. And many of you right now, God is calling you to become fire starters for your family, spiritually speaking, in your church, as you fast, as you pray, the fire of God. Well, what is fire? The Old Testament said our God is a consuming fire. The New Testament, John prophesied that you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost and fire. So from this amazing place, Mount Carmel, I'm asking God to let the fire fall again while you're fasting. Let it fall on your life till, till your heart burns with passion for Jesus. Let the fire come so strong that it melts any and all resistance to the will of God for your life on this fast. And I'm in agreement with you that you're going to experience a fire fall from heaven like you've never experienced before. So let's pray together on this day as you continue fasting on this 21-day journey. Father, I pray right now that the fire of God would fall on the heart that's listening to me. Thank you for their sacrifice. When Elijah put water on that altar, it was sacrifice. And the scripture said the fire fell and licked up the water. And I see right now the sacrifice and you see that people are putting on the altar of fasting and prayer. And may the fire be attracted to their house, to their family, to their children, and to their own life personally. Let the fire, the passion of God burn in our hearts again. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen and amen. God bless you. Keep on seeking God in fasting and prayer.